May I say, it's a lucky man who has found such a wife. Is that from the moment I saw her, I loved her. And no matter the price, you cannot walk away from love. Four. This video will be about a dangerous, mysterious, and beautiful woman and the power she had over all men who ever crossed paths with her. The movie we will do a character analysis on today is The Original Sin, a romance thriller movie based on a novel Worlds into Darkness. It tells a story set in late 19th century in Cuba during the Spanish rule. It flashes back and forth from the scene of a woman awaiting her execution while telling her story to a priest. Angelina Jolie plays a woman, Julia, who, along with her lover, plans to con a rich man, Luis Antonio Vargas, by marrying him, earning his trust, and then running away with all of his money. Everything goes as planned until she falls in love with him. And I have chosen this movie for my character analysis as I truly love how enigmatic, mysterious, dangerously beautiful and seductive this woman is. Also, this character definitely hits the pattern that we can find in my movies where a strong obsession is formed between a man and a woman and as you might imagine, it perfectly fits the patterns of my other movie analysis and also here we can take a look at the beautiful aesthetic of this movie, the outstanding costume design and the seductive character that is played so well by Angelina Point Jolie. number one is mystery and this is a often recurring character trait of all the femme fatales I have done breakdowns on this channel so far. The character played by Angelina Jolie appears very mysterious from the very beginning of the movie. Notice how her first ever shot in this movie shows us this character in a way that is not truly visible. She is either hard to see because of the sun blinding the viewer or her big umbrella. Haven't we seen that in movies before? The covering of the protagonist's face either by a hat, umbrella or another item or invention and this is making already us want to pay more attention to the person. It gives that goddess effect to every woman who uses it. It makes you lean forward and try to get more of this woman. This beautiful woman that you cannot really see. All of the most powerful female characters in movies were shown to us like that. You might remember Titanic or even Jessica Rabbit I have just done our character analysis on. You don't really see much of her. And this alone makes the other person desperately want to get to know you, see you and make the distance between the two of you shorter. It is the initial trigger of desire even in non-romantic life situations. And believe me that this is one of the most important power tricks. The power that you hold here is that someone desperately tried to get to know you and it is you who decides how much is revealed, especially if you present yourself in a feminine and alluring way. The more you cover, the more there is to discover about you and the more the other person tries to win this knowledge. Here in this movie, Angelina Jolie, uh, Jolie really knew how to play that. She does have a natural dark feminine energy to her, so I guess this role was very easy to her. Coming back to the movie, the mysterious aura around her made the guy completely hooked. The initial desire was set and if you watch my other character analysis, this is a very important step for seduction. And I think in general, it is good to practice mystery. Mystery, in my opinion, adds a lot of depth to a character and even though later in the movie we can fully see Angelina Jolie character, she still have a much more reserved and mysterious energy to her. You get the impression that you can never really grasp 
this person that there is much more to her than what you already know. So there is a lot of adventure already in that relationship and a conquest to learn and discover more about you. Point number two is be reserved. Julia was a prostitute, so by nature she probably didn't really need to put physical distance or be prudish at the beginning of the relationship with her husband. And this wasn't really said directly in the movie, but I think as the sole motive was to seduce and rob Louis, her new husband, I am sure this was a part of her plan. Anyways, I always mention that in my character analysis that similarly as the first point, being reserved made Louise wanting to win her get to know her first. And I think that this is a very powerful move that makes you create tension and desire in a relationship. And I am soon going to do a movie analysis on basic instinct. And if you already know and saw the movie, you must know that this is also a tactic used by character played by Sharon Stone. She similarly as Julia created more tension and desire by being physically reserved at the beginning of a relationship. Point number three unpredictable, playful, adventurous, and spontaneous. And this one is another very common trait to most femme fatales and seductress type of women. And if you watched my wife, cheater, mistress, character breakdowns, you know that this was usually the trait of the mistress that the wife didn't have. This trait was also presented in Deep Water and basically all dark feminine energy women I have done in here so far, there was always a part of unpredictability in them, playfulness and adventure. This is something that also adds a lot of depth to the character, especially if I noticed that this type of woman is the most desirable character of all. Boredom kills attraction while adventure fuels it. Being always the proper and well-behaving woman, wife or girlfriend is not really interesting and I believe that it is possible to do that in a healthy and not non-toxic extent. After all, as I always mention, if your motivation is to deepen the attraction in your marriage, your relationship or seduce someone you are going to love, there is no wrongdoing in that. I believe that discovering more flavors to our being can only make our personality and character richer. This is why I like doing those character breakdowns as I believe that we can get inspired and learn from all sorts of characters. The more power to you, the better. And it is up to your mor morality if you are going to use your power for good reasons or for bad reasons. Anyways, it is good to have the power anyways. And coming back to the movie, there were plenty of scenes where we saw Julia acting a bit off limits, unpredictable or improper. And I think that this made this character and her even more interesting and alluring. I think the dangerous woman is the fantasy of many men and it definitely played well in case of Julia. Point number four is passion. We can notice Julia being very passionate in most of her scenes. She was taking all life moments to the fullest and especially in the romantic scenes she was able to really be all in. She first confessed love to her new husband and every time we witnessed a romantic moment between them it seems that she truly enjoys it. Anyways, I think that we are drawn to people who are drawn to us. We are attracted to people even more when we know that they are into us and all consumed by us. I think that this is a fuel of any romantic relationship. And remember that to every trait you need its opposite to balance those out. And these balancing traits are beautifully visible in Julia and this is why I wanted to do this breakdown on her. You can notice that she was mysterious but playful. She was reserved but passionate. A reserved and cold character would seem too prudish 
harsh and boring. And I think that having uh, two contrary traits that can be found in one person is very attractive. And once again, this works very well for Julia's character and her seduction game. Well, after all, this man was so much into her and he was able to accept any dark truth about her. And similarly to my breakdown for deep water, he loved her and as he said, he cannot imagine his life without her. She was able to seduce him and make him love her to the core. And this is why this character is so powerful. She was really able to play any man she wanted and she drove the actions of the entire movie. I also liked the ending which I won't spoil in case you haven't watched the movie. And in case you watch the movie, please let me know your opinion on Julia's character and the movie itself. I love the aesthetic and I think this was a good character to make a seductress analysis on. And in the future I will do Angelina's Jolie character in the movie Tourist as well. And as I already mentioned, I think that she is very good at playing those mysterious seductive women as she herself is that. Definitely a dark feminine example.